Hello guys, Pastor Preston is my name. So, how to have continuous peace in your life. Right? So simple. Okay? The scripture says, my people perish for lack of knowledge. So, in other words, you will obtain peace by the level of wisdom that you have. Hallelujah. Okay? The wiser you become and the more you submit to the Spirit of God, the more you succeed and have peace in life. Let me say this and say this very well. Why do you say submit to the Spirit of God? It's not just a religious terminology. No one can know this word more than the Holy Spirit. No one can know life more than the Holy Spirit. Okay? So if He speaks to you or you listen to Him at every time, whether you are wise or not, you will always have peace and you will always be successful in whatever you are doing. That's number one. Number two, the more you become wise, wisdom is gaining relevant knowledge that works per time. So the more you become wise, the more you have peace in your life. Now listen and listen very well. A lot of time, you suffer not because of what people do to you, but because of what you are not in yourself. That's why you suffer. Because whatever people do to you, it's not about what they do. It's about how you interpret what they do and how you respond to what they do that matters more. And it takes wisdom to know how to interpret what they do to you and respond correctly and excellently from what they have done to you. So you see that wisdom will give you peace. People suffer for what they have become, okay, their mindset, the deficiency of right information, and not necessarily because of what people have done to them or life. Listen, Jesus said it profoundly. He said, in this world, you will go through tribulations, okay, because people will do things out of ignorance, wickedness will prevail, you know, some people will allow themselves to be used, Satan will work through weak people, weak-minded people, lack of knowledge people. However, if you hang on christ he will always help you to know how to manage the situation how to respond to life how to interact with people how to be patient what not to do what to do you know what to hang on what not to hang on what to take solace in and what not to okay because in wisdom and in the leading of the spirit you are thoroughly furnished or you know armed against life this is very important so you suffer to the level of foolishness that you have in you you suffer to the level of ignorance that you have okay right but to the knowledge that you have gained right the better you become okay right the things that we imbibe becomes our culture and then our culture is how we see life how we respond to life and how we you know just think generally and in that culture we either are blessed or are cursed that means we either suffer or we enjoy listen let me say this do you know that someone is in the same situation that you are in right and is not suffering like you are suffering someone is going through the same thing that you are going through right and the apparently maybe they are handling it more better than you handling it because they have more knowledge they have proper wisdom to handle such situations that you lack in yourself right so if you obtain more wisdom if you learn from those who know you realize that you enjoy life right as against suffering do you know that what you are complaining in someone is praying to be in the same situation and you'd have been, and you'd be shocked how to handle the same situation but you are complaining in that same situation because you just don't know how to manage that situation properly you lack relevant knowledge you you lack useful knowledge you are not listening to the spirit you are responding to life how you've been fashioned how you think and you think that's the best way you can just get things right in life i feel sorry for you okay so keep learning keep growing keep asking questions if you will keep doing all of all these things you'll be amazed that you begin to live more healthy and peaceful and one thing about once things begins to steal your peace somehow he will begin to affect your health, right? High blood pressure, you know, mental health, and then some, somehow you could die early, okay? But if you will learn to have peace, right, from being wise, listening to the Spirit of God, stirring it up from the presence of God, then you will live longer, you live happier, and then you'll be able to do much more things in life. Remember, he says, a merry heart, do it good like medicine, okay? A merry heart, do it good like medicine. But once the heart is not merry, the Bible says, right, things begin to go wrong. So you must be careful to protect your personal peace, your joy, and live from a place of victory, all right, as against suffering by every action, by, you know, everything that is thrown at you because you are inexperienced. You don't know how to manage life situations perfectly. Thank you for listening and God bless you.